you live. There's the winter weather advisory for parts of the viewing area. Warren, Tippecanoe, Carroll, and Howard counties, and southward. But you'll notice the winter storm warning around St. Louis and southern Illinois. That area could get up to nine inches of snow. But for us, it will be less because as the storm comes up from the Gulf of Mexico, a new storm is going to form on the east coast. That's why we've got all these watches and warnings. And that will pull the moisture, pull the energy from ours. There'll be an energy transfer, and everything will get sucked up in this nor'easter. That'll ride right up the east coast. They're going to get over a foot of snow and a good chunk of the interior uh, interior northeast. So there is the storm right here, working northward with time. Already the ice and even the snow approaching the Ohio River and making a beeline northward. So this is accelerating overall. All precip will be in the generally 11 p.m. tonight to 6 p.m. tomorrow evening time period. But most of the accumulating snowfall and ice is going to be about 1 a.m. to 1 p.m. tomorrow. That's when the, the big impacts will be. And we're going to see an icy mix go to snow. And then it'll taper to just patches of bits of snow and a little bit of drizzle or freezing drizzle tomorrow afternoon and evening. Worst conditions will be in the morning hours to about midday tomorrow. So it's a red tomorrow morning. Um, wintry mix ice to snow. But then conditions improve for the PM commute. And all we're going to have is just some patchy snow and drizzle. And the good news is uh, we're going to get to 33. So that's going to allow some melting. Chemicals should work pretty well. But the bad news is we're still going to be down into the mid and upper 20s over the viewing area in the morning. So icy roads expected. One to two inches of snow over much of the viewing area. But Fowler over to near Pine Village and Attica and southwest were two to three inch or less here. Eastern Clinton, Howard, Southern Cass, and Southern Miami counties. And notice in the pink zone here that is. Uh, Less than a tenth of an inch of ice, or about the eastern three quarters of the viewing area. So tomorrow, icy mix to snow in the morning, 30 snow tapers by around midday, and then just some patchy snow drizzle and freezing drizzle around 5 p.m. as conditions improve a little bit. And then we've got a big meltdown on Friday after black ice in the morning, 41 for the high in the afternoon. So here's the precip moving northward. Again, icy mix goes to all snow with time. Here we are at 9 o'clock in the morning in the thick of it. But things begin to taper off around midday. And after that, just patches of light snow drizzle and a little freezing drizzle around. As the big storm on the East Coast takes away everything from us, we may see a few snow showers Saturday night and Sunday. Otherwise, this is just a pretty cold forecast before we begin to see the temperatures warm up a little bit next week. But, you know, the normal high is still 52. Only 41 Friday, 38 Saturday, high about 35 on Sunday, but at least we're in the 40s by next week. Leave home early tomorrow morning for That's sure, right? right? Chad, all yeah. right. Thank you very much.